Hello everyone, welcome back to Ilfo Corfix. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to turn any photo into a vector and then create a t-shirt design. I will show you a very simple way to do that so that a beginner also can easily create a t-shirt with an image from the internet or your favorite actor. So watch the tutorial until the end. And this video is sponsored by Pixmiller.com. Pixmiller is a very good background removing website. If you are looking for removing background easily, you can check out the Pixmiller AI background removing website. Learn more at the end of the tutorial. Let's start the video. Now we are here in the magical world of Photoshop. I have downloaded this image of Chris Hemsworth from the Extraction movie. I am trying to create an Extraction movie t-shirt design. I personally like Chris Hemsworth so I am creating a t-shirt with his face. Now first, we need to remove the background of the image. Now we will use pixmiller.com to remove the background of the image. We are here on the Pixmiller website. Now upload the image. After some time you can see it removes from the background. Though there are some unwanted areas, but we can easily remove that in Photoshop. Now download it without watermarks. Download the HD version. After that, I open the image in Photoshop and I remove the unwanted part of the image. If you want to remove the background in Photoshop, you can also check out my background removal tutorial on my channel. First, take the crop tool. And crop the image into the face area. I will use the face to create the vector and then I will use the face to create the t-shirt design. So crop that perfectly. Now zoom closer to the face. We need to cut out the face only to use. So take the pen tool, and take your time, and cut the head perfectly. After making the path, press the right button on your mouse and load the selection. Then apply a layer mask. Then go to edit, take free transform. Make the face size bigger. Hit OK. Take time and make adjustments according to your image. Then delete the layer mask. Now go to the adjustments layer, and take the threshold. Adjust the threshold according to your image needs. Then select the image layer, go to the filter, sharpen, and take the unsharp mask. Apply the sharpening and you will see that the details of the threshold come more, so adjust it properly and hit OK. Again go to the filter, sharpen, and take the unsharp mask. Take time and adjust the sharpening properly to give the details in the image. Hit OK. Next, go to the adjustments layer, and take carve adjustments. Adjust the carve a little bit. Then create a blank layer. Go to the select. And color range. Chose the black color of the image. Hit OK. Then go to edit. Fill. Choose black color. And hit OK. Now you can see in the layer, that we just create that into a new blank layer. Go to select, and deselect the selection. Hide all the other layers. Go to the adjustments layer, and take solid color, choose the white color and hit OK. Then select the face, go to edit, and free transform. Make the face a straight a little bit. Hit OK. Now apply a layer mask. We need to make some adjustments and remove some unwanted areas of the face. Take the brush tool from the toolbar, and take your time then remove the unwanted spots properly.
Now you can see we remove the unwanted spots from the face. Next, delete the layer mask, hit apply. Now I also add a name to the design. I use the text of the extraction movie. You can use any one name as you want. Then take some time and make some adjustments with text and the face. Then select the two layers, and merge layer. Then press Ctrl or Command then click on the layer thumbnail, it will load a selection, and we want to convert that into vector. So go to the toolbar, and take any selection tool, and press the right button on your mouse. Then select make work path. It will convert the selection into a path. Then go to the adjustments layer, and take solid color. Choose a color as you like to use in the t-shirt, hit OK. Press Ctrl or Command plus T, then you can see you can easily scale the design bigger, or smaller. We just convert our image and text into a vector design, and we can use that for any kind of work. Now we will use that in a t-shirt, and I will show how to create match the design with a t-shirt. So take the vector into the t-shirt image document. Take the crop tool, and crop the image into the t-shirt area. Now take your time and make some adjustments to fit the design with the t-shirt. Now you can leave that as like it now. Just print that in a t-shirt and you are good to go. But if you want to make the design more realistic, you can try to create a mock-up. So follow my steps. First save the image exactly like you crop and delete the vector design. After that open another document of the t-shirt image. Then again put the vector design in the t-shirt area. Then select the design. And go to the filter, distort, and displace. Now find the PSD file that you saved before. Select the PSD, and hit open. Now you can see it's wrap with the t-shirt, and it's looking realistic. You can make changes or resize it. Change the blending mood into multiply. And go to adjustments layer, and take carve adjustments. Adjust the highlight, and darkness to create more contrast. And now you can see we are done. We just take a random photo of Chris Hemsworth and make a vector design for a t-shirt very easily. You can take any of the photos and then you can also create a vector for your t-shirt or any kind of work. So let's see the final result. And thank you for being the sponsor of the video of Pixmiller. If you are looking for a best and easy way to remove background, this is a website that can easily remove any of the photo backgrounds. And the price of the Pixmiller is very low, you can see. And they are trying to help lots of people who want to remove background easily so that's why I really want that everyone knows about them. So everyone go and check out their new background removing website software. Now, I just show you all the processes of this video. I try to create some good tutorials with explanations for beginners. So that they can easily learn how to do this kind of Photoshop work. I hope that my work helped you to learn something new. I am really trying my best to make the best possible tutorial to help everyone. And everyone thank you so much for watching until the end. And support my work through Patreon, or by joining my channel. Your support is very important for me to keep working for you. And leave your comment if you have any issues in the tutorial. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Because I will come up with more interesting tips and tricks tutorial for you. So that's it for today. See you in my next tutorial. Till then, bye. And the most important, keep learning.